This video is part of a series from Apex Process Consultants that demonstrates a government loan underwriting application created using IBM Business Process Management, BPM, and Operational Decision Management, ODM, software. In BPM Process Designer, we can edit the user interfaces within a process application. Each of the human-based activities within the process design is typically going to have some kind of user interface within it. Let's drill down into a user interface within this example. Inside the codes view of the loan application human service, we can see and edit the design view for this interface. When we looked at the mortgage review process, this design displayed as our web form, which we modeled after the standard PDF application used by government underwriters. You can see the buttons and tabs represented within the design interface. They will look different when rendered at runtime. In section one, we see a cartoonish block representing the personal information entry fields. The reason the information is presented like this is that Process Designer allows us to group components together in order to build our UIs. This cartoon represents a composite coach view. To reduce complexity, we display that as a sort of cartoon at this level. If you drill down into it, you'll see the actual controls that make this section function. This is powerful because it means we can break up the work to different teams to work on the project at the same time. And we can further embed reusable pieces within these composite containers. We could also put these reusable assets into a toolkit and then limit editing privileges to make it available for use in multiple projects. In Process Designer, we can click the play button and run our application from here to see how our user interface will look when fully rendered in the browser. In a previous video from this series, we showed how we could use data masking to prevent incompatible data from being saved in the system. Let's look at how that's implemented in Process Designer. We click on the Social Security number field on our palette. If we go to the Configuration tab on this field, we'll see the settings. We're using the Masked Input Reusable Coach View for this field. If we go to the Configuration, we see that we can specify the rules for what pattern the field will accept we can specify a validation message. With these simple configuration options, we can establish quite complex rules for allowable range and data type and patterns for this field. Scrolling down a bit, we see another address entry. This is also a composite view. This is a reusable artifact which can be used in multiple places within our application. We drill down and see this is where we called our external integration to validate addresses. This blue button with the white check mark calls our address verification service, which calls the USPS web service. We will look deeper into this external integration in a subsequent video in this series. Apex Process Consultants, don't try to catch up with your competition. Leave them behind.